Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to write Python programs to print character patterns. In the previous video, Printing Patterns in Python, Part 1, we discussed how to print simple number based patterns. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss how to print the character based print patterns in Python. Let us assume that we want to print a pattern like this. First row is having one star, second row is having two stars, third row is having three stars, fourth row is having four stars, and fifth row is having five stars. So if you are noticing it, in every every row there is uh, a continuing number of a continuing number of uh, stars available in the pattern. Okay. So let us start writing uh, the program. As we discussed in the in the video part one of printing patterns, we have to write the nested for loops. We have to write the nested for loops. So let's first let us write the outer for loop for and its iterating variable is i. And in if you are noticing clearly how many rows are there in this pattern. How many rows are there in this pattern? Totally five rows are there in this pattern, right? So let us execute the outer for loop five times. So for i in range of one to six, as we know, since uh, the end end value we are providing is not included. Okay, so if you want to print till five, or if you want to have numbers till five, then you have to give the end value as six, so that it will generate numbers from one to five. Now the outer for loop is created. So outer for loop controls the number of rows in the pattern. So this row, this pattern contains five rows. So this outer for loop will execute five times. Now inner for loop decides the content to be printed and how many number of times it is to be printed, right? So if you now let us notice or uh, let us discuss how this loop can work. Suppose if the outer of uh, Iterating variable i, that is a looping variable of outer for loop, is taking the value 1, and if the value of j is going up to 1, right, that means up to i, then it will execute only one time. At that time, if you are printing this uh, character star, it will print only one character, right? And when i is 2, and let us start the value of j from 1, and if you are going till i, then it will take two values. 1 and 2 and both the times it can print the star value so star and star two times when i is 3 j will start from 1 and it can go to 3 so 1 2 3 it will take three values 1 2 3 and if you are printing the character star then it will print star three times so now like this when i is 5 it, J will take, it will start from 1 and will go till i, that means uh, till 5, right? And every time you can print a star so that 5 stars can be printed. So now in this for loop, let us write the inner for loop for J in, this J will start from 1. So the range function, its, its initial value is 1. And it has to go till i, as we discussed. It has to go to i. So in every iteration of uh, inner for uh, outer for loop, the j has to start from one, and it has to go till uh, i, right? And so one to i. So how can I get the numbers till i? If you are giving i plus one, then you will get the values till i, right? Now the for loop is written. So in this in this within this inner for loop, for every iteration of outer for loop, inner for loop will execute i times, right? Now let us print the character. So print, and it is to be uh, within set of uh, single quotes since this star is a character, right? Now it will print, right? Let us let us check whether this is working correct or not. Okay. So let us run the module, and it is asking for uh, saving the file. Let me give the file name pattern two dot pi. To see it's printing uh, stars. How many stars are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's printing 15 stars. If you count the stars here, this is also 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 15. So number of stars it, it requests in the pattern is actually printed properly. But they are not printed in the pattern format. So as we discussed in the in the in the in the part one, right? If you if you are printing a pattern, all the stars in the particular row should be printed in the same line. So how can you make the print to print the content in the same line? Usually print will print one content and it will move the cursor to the next line. But here you want to have the cursor in the same line until a collection of stars printed in the row is completed. So in this case, what you can do is after printing star, just have a comma and end is equal to. Then what you can do is you can have a white space. So after after printing the star, right, instead of moving the cursor to the next line, that is the usual behavior of print, you are making it to print and space after this star. So this is what you are doing. Now let us check. Now let us check the you know, execution of the program to see all the stars are printed in the same row, right? It's again number of stars printed in the pattern is correct, right? It's 15. And all the stars are printed in the same row, but we don't want all the stars in the same row. We want first one star in the first row, then two stars in second row, and three stars in third row. That means once a particular row of stars is printed, cursor should move to the next line so that next row will start from the new line. So let us do that. So, so what you are doing is actually inner for loop is actually printing every element in a row. Outer for loop denotes the row and inner for loop denotes every element in the row. And after printing every element in a particular row, move the cursor to the next line manually by calling print blank right so when you are print, when you are calling print blank after completion of the all the iterations of iterations of inner for loop but within the outer for loop what will happen is the cursor will move to the next line so for the next row the cursor will move to the next line now let us check how it is working let us run the module you see now the expected pattern is printed on the screen so i hope that you understood this program now let us uh, move to another pattern okay it's a reverse okay first in the first row five stars then in the next row four stars then three stars then two stars then one okay again the outer for loop can decide the number of rows so how many number of rows are there five rows are there so outer for loop is okay it's not a problem so it's 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 actually um, executing five times so uh, five rows will be created but in the in the inner for loop we are printing the elements and how many number of times it is printing that is reserved by inner for loop you see for every iteration of outer for loop okay for every iteration of outer for loop inner for loop executes up to 1 from i till 1 you see when when i is actually when i is 5 in outer for loop actually it is executing 5 times so uh, when i is actually 5 it can it can print 5 stars okay it can print 5 stars when i is 4 it can print 4 stars when i is 3 it can print 3 stars when i is 2 it can print 2 stars when i is 1 it can print 1 star so uh, actually the inner for loop prints star i number of times okay so in outer for loop has to start from outer for loop has to start from uh, 5 not from 1 so what do you want to do you want to start from 6 okay you want to start from 6 and you have to move till 1 okay you have to move till 1 and uh, by default it will generate uh, no a reverse range of numbers from uh, a reverse range of numbers from uh, you know uh, its reverse range of numbers from 5 okay till 1 that is what we are expecting but uh, let us check it okay let us check it and next thing is Next thing is uh, inner for loop is actually starting from i. So actually it is starting from 5. So when i is 5, inner for loop actually starting from 5. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it will print 5 times the star. 
then when i is 4 Four, three, two, one, and it is printing four times. Right? When I use three, it is taking the values from three to one. So three times it is printing star. So what you want to do is you want to uh, have the value of J from I, right? And you have to go till one, right? You have to go till one, right? So now in this case, uh, it will print uh, five rows. And uh, no outer for loop starts from five and is going till one. And inner for loop prints uh, star character uh, i times. Okay, every time it is printing the number of stars equal to i, right? So now let us check the program and uh, let us check whether it is running or not. To see, uh, it's not behaving properly, right? So a uh, range of value starting from uh, five and is going till one. Okay, right? And uh, every time uh, the J is starting from I and is going till one. So here, what is missing? Maybe the step value. So step value means from the current value uh, of this, uh, you know, range number generated by this range function to get the next number. Or how ca how can you get it? This actually, if you are subtracting one from the current number, then you will get uh, you'll get uh, the new number okay so like that here i is for j i use the first number two and uh, one is the last number and if you are subtracting uh, if you are subtracting or if you are adding minus one okay here also if you are adding minus one or subtracting one okay, you will get the next number in the reverse range right let us run the program again see it's printing uh, stars in the expected pattern. You see, but the thing is, one row is missing. Okay, why one row is missing? Actually, uh, it is starting from. It is starting from. Okay, uh, it's starting from four, not from five. If you if you are noticing uh, the output properly, uh, you can notice it. It's starting from uh, four, not from five. So we provided uh, actually from uh, five to one. So, but it started printing from uh, 4 to 1, right? So, instead of 5, you can give a 6 here. Okay, instead of 5, you can give 6 here. In this case, we expect that uh, it will start from 5 and will go till 1. Now, you see, it is printing the characters uh, 5 number of times, okay? So, here, if you, if you might have understood, right? How to uh, print the patterns in reverse form. That means, uh, you should know how to generate uh, the numbers in reverse range. So in reverse range, right, the starting number should be greater than the ending number. So that is very, very important. So the starting number in the range should be greater than the ending number. And step value should be the negative value, right? Step value should be the negative value. So in that case, you can get the, uh, you can get the reverse range of numbers. You can, you can get the reverse range of numbers. So every time, right, every time it is actually Start, uh, you know, start printing uh, from last number to first number or the highest number to lowest number. So I hope that you understood uh, how this program is designed and how it is working. And uh, this is uh, part two of printing patterns using Python. And still, you know, many, many, many parts of uh, printing patterns in Python is actually kind of going to continue. So subscribe the channel, uh, Program of a Programmers by Felix and press bell button for your further notifications and keep on watching the videos. Happy programming. Thank you.